Makeover Make Under Mania. Today we have a special guest makeup artist, Rebecca Alavi. Rebecca, thanks for coming. Thank it's you nice for to having have you me. here. Rebecca is going to talk about foundation today and take you through five easy steps to achieve that flawless skin that you see in magazines. Now, Rebecca, I know a lot of girls say they don't wear foundation because a lot of times it looks unnatural or cakey. Why is that? This is a result of bad foundation color selection or simply poor application. When wearing foundation, your goal is to look like you don't have any makeup on. Um, a good foundation application is untraceable. Okay, so now do you want to take us through the five steps? Sure. Okay, thanks. Step one, we want to moisturize. This is extremely important when applying foundation. When you apply foundation to your skin that has not been moisturized, your foundation will stick to the drier areas of your, of your face and be more difficult to spread. That's when your skin starts to look blotchy. Step two, primer. Taking that extra step to prepare your face by using a face primer will help your foundation to stay on longer and look even smoother and more natural. What the primer does is even out the texture and the coloring of your skin. Step three, foundation. When applying foundation, always use a foundation brush or a makeup sponge. Using your fingers will result in a streaky, uneven application. To reduce the risk of getting bacteria into your foundation, always use a Q-tip. Dip the Q-tip into your foundation and roll the foundation onto the side of your hand. And this is going to be your palette. Now starting from the T of your face and working your way out, you're going to brush the foundation across your face and begin to paint your face. Okay, now I have a question before you go on with the rest of the steps. How do you know which color or shade of concealer to use on your skin? Like if you have lighter skin, do you usually use a lighter foundation? I know sometimes people use too dark a foundation. How do you know what's right for your skin tone? Typically, foundations are divided between cool colors and warm colors. Um, when choosing your foundation, you should always try to match your undertone of your skin. Um, people with cool undertones have a little more pink to their skin. They typically have blue eyes, blonde hair. And people with warmer undertones have a little more yellow, gold in their skin. And if you really have still having trouble, you can always ask a makeup artist at the counter. Okay. And they'll be, they'll help you. Step four, conceal. Use concealer to cover any problem areas where you might need a little more coverage, typically blemishes and dark circles. Step five, powder. Finally, we want to seal the foundation to your face by using a translucent or pressed powder. This will make sure that your foundation stays put. Make sure you blend into your neck. Okay, great, thanks. So just to reiterate those five steps, we have moisturize, primer, foundation, conceal, and powder, right? That's it. Okay, great. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for coming today. This was very helpful, and I'm sure our audience will appreciate all of these tips. You're welcome. Thanks.